Hi guys, this is Neha and once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel about technology. In our today's video tutorial, we'll discuss about a computing technology that help to develop intelligent machines. Now, you must be thinking what are these intelligent machines? The intelligent machine are those who do not require human intervention in decision making. For suppose, let us take an example of a hair dryer. Your hair dryer gets switched off automatically when its temperature raises to a certain point. Similarly, your washing machine decides the water level according to the weight of clothes loaded in it. We use soft computing techniques to develop these intelligent machines that has human-like problem-solving capabilities. So without further delay, let's get started. Before going into what is soft computing, let us talk about the basic term computing. Basically, computing is a process that takes an input, uses a formal method algorithm or a mapping function to process it and delivers an output. This formal method or function has control actions that convert a particular input to a particular output. Now let us discuss some basic features of any computing method. First is, solution produced by a computing function must be precise. For example, we all are using Google Lens to explore the world around us. It is an image recognition technology that allows you to take a snap of an object in front of you and bring you relevant information related to the object it identifies using visuals. Now, according to computing, the solution produced must be precise. So, if it is scanning an apple, it must identify the object as apple only. The next feature is control action in a computing function must be unambiguous and accurate. It means it must not be the case that each time the function produces different output for the same given input. The next feature is that every computing function must have a mathematical model to solve a problem. Now, computing can be classified into two types, hard computing and soft computing. Hard computing always produces a precise solution. That means for 2 plus 2, it will precisely deliver 4. Next is control actions of hard computing functions are unambiguous. That is, every time you give input as 2 plus 2, it must not give different results. So, this must not be the case with hard computing. Of course, there is a mathematical model for every hard computing function. Examples of hard computing are numerical problem, search and sort, computation geometry problems. Now, let us discuss soft computing. Features of soft computing functions are, a soft computing function never produces a precise output. That is, solution produced by a soft computing function is imprecise. It means the output may or may not be correct. Next is, algorithms associated with soft computing must be dynamic or it must be adaptive. For example, if your device is an apple of different shape, size or shade, it must identify it as apple only. Next is, there may occur uncertainty in the solutions produced. That is, for same given input, soft computing functions can produce different results. As there is imprecision and uncertainty in the solution, the soft computing provides a low-cost solution. And there is no mathematical model in the algorithms implemented for soft computing. The techniques used in soft computing are fuzzy logic, neural network and genetic algorithm. Now let us discuss fuzzy logic. A logic can either be a boolean logic or a fuzzy logic. In boolean logic, the answer is always in yes or no or it may be in 0 and 1. If we take example of the temperature of a coffee cup, then according to Boolean logic, it can either be cold or it can be hot. But in fuzzy logic, the results are based on the degree of truth rather than usual true or false. For example, a coffee cup can be cold, warm or hot. Next is neural network. A neural network is a set of connected input-output units. Each connection has a weight associated with it, which is adjusted by the network during the learning process, so that network is able to predict the correct class label for input tuple. As this is a huge topic in soft computing, I'll try to make a whole separate video on neural network. But for time being, consider that neural network is similar to human brain. It takes input, processes it, and predicts output. Just like human brain learn from past experiences and applies this learning for classification and prediction. Next is genetic algorithm. Genetic algorithm are adaptive search algorithms. These algorithms classify best optimal solution among the several one. The control actions of genetic algorithm are as displayed. Initially, we have a set of solution among which we have to identify optimal one. 
Next, the fitness of each solution is calculated and a fitness score is provided to each of them. Then, the solution with the highest fitness score is selected. In crossover phase, the algorithm keep on producing the offspring until the group of parents exchange their genes. In mutation phase, the random genes are added to new offspring to maintain diversity. And finally, the algorithm terminate when we get optimal solution for our problem. Now let us understand this with the help of an example. Suppose a company want to increase its profit, so it came up with an idea of sending promotional mail along with the coupons. These promotional mail must increase the sales and profit of the company. However, the genetic algorithm has to come up with the solution that what optimum number of coupons must be added to each promotional mail to maximize the company's profit. Initial view would be add as many coupons as possible to maximize the profit. This will let customer use all the coupons and maximize the profit. Some factor that may complicate this idea are adding more coupons in the mail would increase postal costs, ultimately reducing the profit. Sending fewer coupons will also reduce the opportunity to gain profit and lead potential loss in revenue. Adding too many coupons may reduce the customer interest in using any of the coupon at all. So here is the solution provided by genetic algorithm over three generations we have obtained the optimum number of coupons that must be added in each mail to maximize the company's profit. So here I end up with the techniques that we use to implement soft computing. If you like this video please share this with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel about technology. Keep checking the channel for further updates and put your comment and queries in the section below. We'll be back again soon with a new video. Till then take a good care of yourself.